What's up guys? Long time no see, as I often start my videos saying these days. But today I've got a really exciting announcement for you. As you can probably see from the video title, RWM 1.0 has been released. Um, as many of you likely know, RWM is my Rust window manager that I ported from DWM. So it's a tiling window manager, and you can see that I'm, I'm actually running it today on my uh, real desktop. So you can see it's an auto tiler. It's got this master and stack kind of layout. And <laughs> it took me a surprisingly long time to finish up the 1.0 version. So uh, just for those of you who may not have been following the whole saga, I initially started this last year in November. Um, I, I basically did a line for line port where I just went through every line of DWM. Uh, well, I was gonna say DWM.C, but all of the C files in DWM and I ported them to Rust, and I would consider the first draft kind of like a bottom-up approach. So I implemented the low-level functions early on, and then I got to the end of the project when I finally was able to put it all together, and I tried to run it, and I ran into all kinds of crazy bugs that I couldn't really resolve, ultimately. So this is actually the second rewrite I've done of DWM, all in the same repository, so if you're really curious, you can go back through all the history. But in the second draft, I took, I guess what I could, I would consider like a top-down approach. So in this case, I compiled DWM into a shared library that I could call from Rust, uh, using bindgen, of course, to generate bindings to the C code. And then I was able to start off this RWM by writing like fn main and just calling the sequence of top-level functions that DWM called internally. And then I was able to kind of recursively go through each of those C functions, replacing them with Rust functions, and still calling into the bind gen, um, the bind gen generated bindings as needed. But as you can see now, a hundred, well, not a hundred percent because there are a few scripts in here, but now 99% of the repo is Rust and there is zero C in here. Um, you can also see in the releases that um, I, I made a few other tags. For example, I have this 100 alpha, and if we looked at the repository at this stage, you would see all of the C code still there. It used to be about half Rust and half C. So I've been able to delete all of the C code. It's all in Rust, and it's running on my main desktop. So I developed most of this inside of a virtual machine, <laughs> and that's actually the reason, again, if we look at the releases, <laughs> this RWM 1.0 release actually corresponds to the 101 tag. And the reason for that is I tagged 1.0 a little bit prematurely when I was working inside the virtual machine. But before I made this video uh, last night, I wanted to make sure that it would actually run with multiple monitors. And I also wanted to test some of the mouse functionality that for some reason I couldn't get to work with DWM or RWM inside the VM. As it turns out, I wasn't quite perfect with my implementation, um, and I had to fix, uh, there was an infinite loop, I think, that came about when you had multiple monitors. Um, and then there was a second, there was a null pointer issue. Can't wait to get this into safe rust. Um, that arose with a, uh, with emojis in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the second stage last night, uh, RWM itself was working, but when I tried to start RWM blocks, which is my DWM blocks port to Rust, um, it was crashing the whole <laughs> the whole X session. So I fixed both of those issues, and everything seems to be working well now. Uh, I guess I showed some of the tiling features, so I've reverted all of my changes to the config that I was using in the VM, so all of the key bindings are now stock DWM. So that's mod shift enter, um, mod jj, mod enter. I can make stuff, uh, the monocle layout with mod m, mod t to go back to tiling, mod p to run d menu, all of that stuff. Let's see, mod shift c to kill a client. Although with my terminals, I usually just do control d. Yeah, so everything seems to be working. I guess I can show off the mouse stuff uh, because this is one of the things I did not have to fix, surprisingly. So you can also do floating layouts, pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say about the 1.0 release. Thank you to all of you who um, 
showed up to the early live streams, especially because I, I actually needed some help getting the bind gen stuff to work. Um, <laughs> of course, all of our work is now deleted because there's, there's no build script, no bind gen anymore, but it was really, really helpful to have a working program the whole time and to catch bugs as soon as I caused them, basically. So inside the VM, I would implement a function in Rust that used to be in C, and then I would restart RWM, and I would know if something went wrong that I had just caused it, and so I would know where to look. So that was, that was a really helpful way to develop this, um, and I plan to do that also, I think, for ST in the future. So, But before we get to that, I do have a few plans for RWM moving forward. So as I say in the release, um, well, actually I had to edit the release because I thought that I had done DWM 6.4. <laughs> so my initial plan for the roadmap was to make RWM 1.1, uh, porting the changes from 6.5 back to 6.4. However, upon closer inspection last night, the only commit I was missing from the 6.4 branch I was referencing while writing RWM was the commit bumping the version number. Uh, so this is actually a port of 6.5. We're all caught up with DWM. So I'm actually going to start moving on with um, what I was going to previously consider RWM 2.0. So what does 2.0 entail? The first thing I have in mind is I want to try doing an actual config file. So for those of you familiar with DWM and the other suckless utilities, in most cases, or probably all cases, certainly all the ones I've tried, which are um, DWM and ST, if you want to change anything about the configuration, you have to actually modify a C header file and recompile, which is not as big of a deal as it sounds at first. And in my case, I haven't modified my build of DWM in like six months or a year. Well, I, I added a key binding actually maybe a month ago, but before that I definitely hadn't done anything in like a year. So once things are pretty stable, it's not really a big deal that you have to compile it. Um, but it's a bigger deal for me as a maintainer, I would say, because I don't really want to fork my own RWM and have like a personal RWM that I customize. So what I'm really hoping to do is to add like a normal config file, probably in TOML format, um, just because that's common in Rust, but I'm open to changing that in the future. So that way I don't have to have the configuration actually in the main RWM repository. Of course, they'll, they'll, there will be an example config file, um, probably matching the DWM defaults, but I will, um, that way I can adjust and everybody can adjust them without having to recompile. So that's probably what I'm going to try doing today. A few other things I want to do in 2.0 are add a few of the DWM patches that I, um, that I usually use. So I think the main one here that I want is the SysTray patch. So this adds a little bit of extra room on your bar up here for SysTray applets to sit. The other ones I usually use include um, windows swallowing, which just means if I spawn a terminal and then I spawn a graphical program, with windows swallowing, this window would take the place of this window rather than leaving like this, uh, you know, basically suspended terminal over here. So that's something I like. I don't like it all the time, so I'm definitely, I'm probably going to try to implement it with toggling, um, where you can like turn swallowing on and off within a single session. But those are, those are basically the plans for 2.0, a config file to make it easier for me to customize it without making changes to the repository itself. Um, and then I want to start adding a few patches. Now I've also thought about, obviously the DWM model is to have these patches available that the users have to apply onto the end. Um, window manager to get what they want. And I do like that model. And I, I also understand why they don't have a config file, right? Like, I, I believe the Suckless philosophy involves keeping, you know, code size small, keeping things simple, and adding something like a config file parser uh, makes the code bigger and more complicated. 
Um, but in but in my case, I'm not using C. I'm using Rust. So it maybe I will bloat my dependencies a little bit by adding Surd and uh, the Tomel crate, but using those two at least I won't have to write much code to handle configuration and we'll see how it goes you know if I don't like it and I want to go back to the simple config file or the the simple source file config um, we can do that in the future but those are just what I had in mind and this is why I also wanted to be a little more careful about versioning here so I wanted to definitely tag 1.0 uh, and the 1.0 alpha that still has the C code around that way if people really hate the direction that I start going in 2.0, you can always fork from 1.0 or 101, more likely. Sorry to interrupt my nice one cut video, but I realized in editing that I got a little bit off track with my <laughs> config file digression there. And I just wanted to finish up and say that I, I like the model of having patches available. So that there's like a base, um, a base DWM, and then everybody applies the patches that they want on top. But again, for my own case and for the ease of maintenance, I'm planning to just go ahead and apply patches directly to RWM. But this will also go along with the config file. So I'm hoping to make those basically gated by config options. So for example, if you don't want Windows swallowing, you should be able to turn that off in the config. Um, what else did I mention? The sys tray, you should be able to turn that off in the config and so on. So I'm planning to have the code for these patches directly in the main RWM source, but I'm hoping to make it easy to turn them off and leave them off by default so that, again, the default behavior is more like, um, more like the original DWM. This is more like, if you've heard of the like flexi patch version of DWM, I guess it's somewhat more like that. Okay, back to the video. I think that pretty much wraps up the video. I'm gonna drink some of my coffee and probably start working on this config file. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Um, and go give RWM a try. If you if you try it out, um, again, I, I'm kind of just reading the release to you, but um, I intend for this to be bug for bug compatible with DWM. <laughs> Not that I've encountered any bugs in DWM, but basically any behavior in DWM, I should be capturing here in RWM, because it really is a line for line port. Uh, I thought about showing, we can try to jump to some of the like horrifying unsafe code in here. Um, but yeah, so hopefully if you use DWM in the past, you want to give RWM a try, give it a try. If you notice anything weird, certainly any crashes or anything like that, um, please feel free to open an issue. So thanks and I will see you guys next time.